This is The Culling. Uh, this is an episode where we have uh, Cora still in the swamp with Toph and uh, a lot of the kids are... Toffing it out. Toffing it out. Yeah. Wait, right after the Cora Nation. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Spent all week working on that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, well done. Uh, so all the kids are going, they're looking for Korra, they're, they have to work together as a team, doesn't work Which out so well. Hilarious. <laughs> and adorable. I, I, I love Tenzin, and like, I, I'm like, now remember to work together as a team, like, go find Korra, and I'm like, you're really trusting these three? I mean, I guess they did it in the end, but I would have been like, what the hell? Well, I'll get to that in a second. So Korra has to confront uh, her Empire Strikes Back fears and the Empire Strikes Back way. I mean, it's, oh, it's no, kind no, of amazing. Oh, oh no, remember when we tried to talk about that in the original Avatar? It was not like Star Wars! Remember, it's not like Star Wars. Oh, it's not? Okay. Um, okay. All right. In the um, totally original way that kind of is Yoda-ish, kind of is Swamp-ish, kind of is going into an area to confront her fears through illusions-ish. Um, that has nothing to do with this big sci-fi epic that... Maybe we'll much... just compare it to Dune. Yeah, there you go, <laughs> Dune. Remember that scene in Dune? No, because I don't remember a fucking thing from Dune because it's a terrible oh, movie. <laughs> oh, you fill me with sadness. Except for that flying fat guy. It's the only fun thing. Um, but he had a to... name, the Baron Harkonnen. <laughs> I, I just know this. <laughs> That's all I know. That was his middle name. <laughs> Baron Harkonnen. Baron Harkonnen. Okay, we're getting really off topic. I'm sorry. Uh, but what do you expect when an episode connects so clearly to Dune? Because nobody will be offended by that for some reason. No. This is totally Empire Strikes Back. It, it's which is unbelievable fine. how much Empire Strikes Back it is. It's fine. I don't um, care. It's there. If you're gonna rip off something, rip off something good. Yeah, Empire and the Strikes best Back is. is good. Yeah, that's the best. Um. And even down to Toph, almost like, yeah, I mean, she's small, she's green, she is, you know, doesn't take any shit, and... <laughs> oh no, my favorite was she's like, go pick mushrooms. And like, she's walking, and like, the second she comes up to that place with a little circle in the middle, I was like, powerful this place is with the dark side. I'm like, here's our mystic cave moment. Yeah, she's gonna I mean, see it's, it's like exact. Um, but she finally... She unmasks Amon in its her own <laughs> face. That would have been awesome. <laughs> um, so she finally confronts her fears, confronts her, um, uh, her enemy, learns from her enemies. I really like that line, you know, uh, instead of being afraid of your enemies, learn from your enemies. And uh, figures out a way to take the metal out of herself, meets up with the kids again, and now she can go back into the Avatar stage, and everything is going to be hunky-dory, I'm sure. And it's going to end the next episode, because it's just going to be a swift resolution, I know. Um, so I can say this, I can say, watching this episode, there must have been about three or four times where I just looked at the monitor and I said, really? Really? But... I didn't mind because it was such an adorable episode. I really <laughs> liked following these kids. It was precious. <laughs> it's it's one of those episodes where it was it, like it's one of those where it's just it's like it's like dealing with real kids in your lives. It's like I'm kind of infuriated and yet it's just so cute at the same time. Yeah, because on the one hand, you know where a lot of this is going. The, and the it's Empire kind of bad yeah, and it's, it's we know. Yeah, and the kids are it's like they're kind of annoying, but at the same time it's like, oh they're just so cute. The 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 one thing you were talking about, like when Tense is like, you have to work together as a team, and the boy is like, I'm not working together as a team, I'm gonna be winning this thing now, take oh, away! No, 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 okay, if I was Tenson, Meanwhile, like, I no, no, if I was Tenson, that air buffalo start taking off, I would air bend the back, oh, up, 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 no, now you listen here, you little brat, that sister is in charge, you listen to her, you little idiot, because this is gonna totally derail, if you don't listen, work as a freaking team, or I will beat the living snot fart out of you, got it? Okay, there you go. Like, could have saved so much time. I have faith in the universe that everything will work out. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's kind of, like, the... That's the only thing I can figure is that, you know, have them discover on their own naturally I, that they'll <laughs> learn to be a team. But, I okay, have, no, this I is have a big faith, thing. I have faith in the cosmic screenwriters that <laughs> this will somehow work to a resolution that will not only be humorous, but that people will find cute. But it's one of those things where it's like, okay, if it was just like... 
a small thing, but it's like, no, you're finding the Avatar to restore balance to a world that's yeah. going to go to civil war and everything. I mean, don't be like, oh, they'll learn their way. It's like, no, you grow up and learn fast. Yeah, we we need to find the Avatar. Therefore, I'm sending the Marx brothers. Like, that's pretty much what it was. <laughs> well, mostly like, sisters, but yeah. The three stooges, the Marx sisters. <laughs> yeah, the Marx sisters. It, and, and, you know, I mean, Jinora knows what she's doing for the most part. Like, but the, the but, but, but she two, wasn't leading. I mean, that yeah, is the one thing. And the, and the other two, like, the boy in particular, I would have been like, you know what? You can stay here. <laughs> Girls have fun. <laughs> like, I was, I was like, there's no way. Unless maybe he was like, oh shit, then he stays here. <laughs> you know, know what? what? Go. Take it. Take it. <laughs> uh, I am giving you a side <laughs> mission. Uh, <laughs> um, but no, you see obviously what happens. You are in charge there. of awesomeness. <laughs> yes. No, wait. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Can I fart? Yes. Uh, you know, you just. That way. If that the show censors let us get away with it, then yes. <laughs> um, I just think it's one of those where, even though, like you said, they are annoying, there is just something still inherently likable about him. I can see someone very easily not liking this episode. Like, come on, can we get to the serious stuff again? I know, like, I can almost say I mean, scene for scene what's gonna happen in this episode. I like the Empire. I just like, I, I like the yeah. characters. I liked the Empire Strikes Back stuff, and the kids can get grading, but I still liked them. And for me, the highlight was um, Iki getting captured by the two... Um, the guards? Yeah, the Those two guards were kingdom. adorable. Those yeah. were adorable guards. And, and literally, just like through her own charm, just completely like, uh, the telling thing is like, they did it twice, and the second time they did the joke, it's funny, where she pulls the arm out of the ropes. Oh yeah, and like, like tying her to the that. chair, but the first time it happened in the background, I just laughed, because it was almost a blinky and you miss it. Yeah. But yeah. in no, the I background, she like scratches her head or something and sticks her arm back down. I'm like, okay, so this is the joke. She's in no real danger. Like, these guys are just idiots. Oh, but even though I, they're I, such likable guards. Yeah. I mean, even the little throwaway guards, I'm sure we won't see again, but it's like, I kind of hope we do, because I kind of like what them. Is this note? <laughs> I mean, it's adorable to my handsome little man. <laughs> Want another macaroon? I like how it's their food that the kid threw out. <laughs> yeah, so when, like, like, the guy's talking about his plan, like, what to do is, yeah, do you realize, you know, that these kids, you know, are looking for the Avatar, that means that they're airbenders and they're related to Tencent, and if we capture them, we can send them to, you know, General Zelda and do all this great stuff? Maybe. Macaroon? I yeah. mean, it was just, no, it's macaroon. like, you know, no, it's like, that's nothing. Try this macaroon. I mean, it was something else. Just throwing, what the hell was that? I mean, it, but they were so likable. Um, I, I thought they were absolutely hilarious. Yeah. You know what it was? It's that scene in American Tale with Feifel and the, I forget the name of the cat, played by Dom DeLuise. The Dom DeLuise cat. Yeah, the Dom DeLuise cat. Was it like Tiger? A, tiger, yeah, yeah played by like, Tiger. And at first you think for a split second he's going to be scary and instead he's just like a cream puff and then they end up being friends. Yeah. That's pretty much what it was until they're knocked out. And it's like, sorry my brother and sister knocked you out. Have a macaroon. Yeah, they leave a little macaroon. That was nice. That was nice. Um, I think it's kind of needed to because the past few episodes, like especially like the first couple, have been so heavy. I mean, it's like, yeah. and this is still heavy. Like the, the, I actually really liked the vision that Korra had with the enemies. Like it was still kind of intense. So it was a nice breather. Like, okay, we're gonna have a little comedy again, which is something the original show had. So. Yeah, and I think the stuff with um, something that I liked when they were with Korra, I liked how. Uh, you know, she, she meets the kid, she knows the metal has to come out of her, and she goes, okay, I'm ready, and, you know, like she says, she says like she's emotionally set and focused and everything, and Toph says, I'm not doing it, you do it. I, because at first I thought, wait a minute, wouldn't Toph tell her, you know, to prepare to save on time, but then I was like, no, because if she said that, she's like, what? What are you talking about? You know she wouldn't be ready. So by having that thrown on her and her just be like, okay, let's do it, I think it showed even more that she was confident. Yeah, I got a weird go Facebook question where somebody's like, well, what do you think now that they've just resolved this whole working through your issues arc in four episodes? And I'm like, I just I four episodes? Yeah, I was like, <laughs> that's a while. I'm like, we <laughs> devoted four episodes in a row from the beginning of this. I'm like, I'm fine. Like, the, honestly, if they did this at the beginning of season two or any of the other ones, like, I would have been fine. I don't need the whole season to deal with it, but just something that deals with, like, the consequences. And I mean, and we don't know if it's over or not. She may still, like, have to get, I don't know. But she's got the Avatar. You know, she it does, seems so to maybe. kind of be passed. She's but... still going to have to figure out what to do with Kuvira, though. Yeah, I mean, that's still God a Emperor, situation. God Emperor General Zelda. <laughs> um, I do love that when they had the picture of her hung up, like the banners and stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, this is only looking better and better. Um, 
but the, uh, yeah, I think, I was originally thinking, like, well, if they made it go longer, that'd be more build-up for her meeting up with General Zelda, like, and the, the fight would have been even more built up, and I was kind of like, I, I know where it's going, we kind of knew where it was going, confront your no. fears, you know, yeah. address your issues, and you'll be better, you Let's know. remember in Return of the Jedi, Luke goes back in Return of the Jedi, and Yoda's like, you're done. <laughs> and I was like, wait a second. <laughs> but you know what? That's the thing. It's like, or you could spend like an hour's worth of Return of the Jedi now with more of the training. It's like, eh, at some point you can move it along. Yeah, I mean, I, did, I was fine. Especially when I said I knew what was coming. The one part I, I said before they touched upon, I would have liked a little bit more. Was It was just a line, but I thought, man, you could have dealt even more with that. Was, uh... The idea of not being afraid of your enemy, but learning from your enemies. I, I really like that line, uh, you know, because she does think back and she just associates it with fear. And she say, well, why don't you learn from it? Why don't you discover what made you stronger and what you discovered from that? Fear is the mind killer. I brought it back to Dune there. Nice. Just to mess with your head. Very nice. That's clearly Empire Strikes Back. I don't know what you were quoting there. No, Which this that would have been show it's not referencing at all. The mind killer fear is... <laughs> It's the path to the dark side. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to <laughs> around the avatar and air perimeter create. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, what else is there to talk about in this episode? I, I'm trying to think. I mean, it it did seem kind of I the I, the one thing we were talking about when we were saying like how the kids are. I want to you know, say like kind of there annoying. were some what? really good lines too, but I'm hearing too. There was a couple funny lines I remember laughing really hard, and I forget what they were now. But but they, okay, like the the boy, you know, who can be pretty annoying, but it's like he just walks that fine line of you're almost annoying, but you're just funny and charming enough. I think a good I example to whip of that. these ladies into shape. <laughs> like, what I, a dick. <laughs> the the I scene I, that, I really yeah. like when he confronts, not confronts, but he talks to the girl there, and I forget if he's asking for directions or, you know. Oh, the little moment. He yeah. was got a girlfriend. I'm, and I really like, because he's suddenly fragile, he's suddenly, like, exposed. And says, no, I don't. And it's like, it's, you again, ruined it's a the one chance I had in my life for love. <laughs> yeah. It's a genuinely cute moment. Yeah. I love the fact that he's a good artist, too, that he draws mm -hmm. Cora like amazing. Like, yeah, that was, that was that a came great there. There's many things you don't know about me. I was like, holy crap. I'm also a serial killer. <laughs> no, it, it's those little touches that I think make this episode uh, just likable enough. I think, I'm trying to think, did, I, I forget her name, the, the one that got the tattoo. Janora. Janora, did she ever do any kind of leadership ish stuff at any point? That was the one thing where I was sort of like, Okay, she's gonna come around and lead a little bit, but I'm she didn't. She ever did. She never really you know, did. She didn't kill the other two, and I think that's progress. <laughs> <laughs> I think really, when it's all said and done, like they're gonna go home, and Tenzin's gonna be like, you know what? You didn't kill your younger sister or brother. Good job. <laughs> like, <laughs> I suppose I, could, could you know, just be Locke too. But actual leading. Um, no, she did. They did say at the end. It's like I did this and I did that, and I sensed Cora at the last second. So yeah, yeah. that's again kind of luck, but you know, it pickers and choosers, whatever. Um, it, I, I wouldn't mind if they didn't say she was the leader, but it's like they did, you know, and they just said you all had to work together. That's fine, but it's like they say you are the leader. But then we <laughs> couldn't have had a Milo puking berries joke, okay? <laughs> That was, was kind of amusing. I was trying to think, it's like, have I ever seen other kids show vomiting in anything? I watch anime, so I see that No, 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 like in a kids time, show, but in like an a, American kids show. An American kids show, not so much. But well, you didn't see him vomit, you saw the... The, 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 the no, but flying, the, uh, you saw the lemur. The lemur. Vomit, vomit. And still, yeah. I'm trying to think if I've ever seen that. I think the closest I've seen is like, maybe there was a... Oh, uh, whatchamacallit, a gnome in Gravity Falls that puked a rainbow. That was about the closest I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, I couldn't think of any other anime. Probably nothing to think too hard about. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I liked it. I can see how someone can not like it and see it as kind of like a rushed, you know, predictable episode. But I think the characters are likable enough. I think they're cute. I think they're funny. And I think this... Hey, they tried. Report, I, it's more than we've gotten in three seasons, like, trying to deal with the After Effects, so I'm, I'm good. Yeah, no, I, I like it, and I I'm like, solid. I like the animation for how the metal comes out, too. I thought that was nicely done, too. Very simple, yeah. but very nicely done. Um, so, yeah. See you in, uh, Children of Doom. I, fear is the mind killer. Mm -hmm.